Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So tonight we're down in the speakeasy again. We are going to try to figure out and continue the competition of what is my favorite bourbon. Jamie, how are you doing tonight? Hey. Hey, David. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, what are you drinking? I'm drinking a dragon fruit mimosa. Yeah, dragon fruit mango mimosa. We found a new juice that sounded pretty good, so she's... Yeah, trying it out. Trying it out. Is Seems it good? Seems to be pretty good so far. It actually was pretty good. I kind of taste tested it, just to make sure it was okay, you know, top quality stuff. <laughs> is he really a mimosa drinker, <laughs> is what I'm thinking. It was actually one of the better mimosas that I've had. <laughs> yeah, so that's what she's drinking. I'm fresh. I haven't been drinking yet tonight. Jamie has the brackets on paper over here. She's going to then figure out from the brackets which of the groups tonight you have... Three different groups left to choose from. Is there, you have any questions before we get started? Oh, where's my jigger? You it's never, the shot glass You again. never come it's prepared. <laughs> Jamie, how do you feel about your performance in the competition so far? <laughs> David! <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazing. Yes. Yeah, well, you I, I, I run this show. So as we do in these competitions, I'm going to, you're going to pick from the list. I'm going to step out. You're going to get it all poured up. And then when I come back, uh, have them mixed up. Because you're not good at it. So. I'm really not. The one time I mixed it up in front of you and I mixed them right back to I the exact that. same order. Get started. So today I'm going to pick the unicorns. I should really know where that is. We're going with it. Mictor's 10. Old Fitzgerald, 8 year. We have Old Carter. 12 year, Russell's 13 year, and we've got Stag Jr. Shane said, why don't I try Old Forester 1910? About half of the jigger. Let me see if I can find another glass, just to get started. <laughs> just enough to taste. It's actually really easy on the nose. Very smooth. So my initial reaction was the burn, and now it's just very smooth, creamy vanilla. It's pretty good, actually. Hmm. I'm, I'm actually liking that. I just feel like I ate dessert. Definitely good. Thanks, Shane, for uh, pointing that out. Really like it, actually. It's really, really, really sweet. It's like trying a bunch of different desserts. It's really good. It might taste like a butterscotch aftertaste too. Kind of like those little um, butterscotch drops we used to suck on when we were younger. So another, oh, David cut that. I just tried <laughs> something. I just tried Victor's 10. I swear this bottle is cursed. <laughs> this was my cup. So somebody also said pour a few drops of water, so. Yeah, that was a lot easier to drink. I mean, it still had that small burn, but again, yeah, the burn wasn't as bad. All right, let's keep pouring before David falls asleep out there. <laughs> Either he's falling asleep or he's playing games. I'm gonna keep tasting on this. I still haven't decided if it's worth that burn taste just to get to that creamy, yummy dessert taste. Cheers to David's unicorns. His name was Shane, and he told me to drink this. Yes. And it's actually really good. But then somebody else said, why don't I put a few drops of water in it? Is it pretty good? <laughs> it is actually really good. It has a really good aftertaste. Did you try that whole <laughs> exhale thing that the one guy talked about? What you do is you take a sip and then blow it out before you drink it. Oh. Did it feel a little bit less burny? I guess it did. Like, less burny is the right word for it. <laughs> But I think, um, you want to taste it real I, quick so we can be on the same sure, page? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I know you've tasted it. I love bit. 1910. Like, Old Forester 1910. That's what won the last competition mm -hmm. in the uh, part two of the series. It's butterscotch, and they come in that yellow little... Yeah, Werther's Originals. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You know, the nice thing about the 1910 is it's so well balanced. There's a sweetness, and then there's also, like, a lot of spice and some oak characteristics, too. And you probably oh, get I a little... Oh, I forgot to blow. Oh, no, that might be too 
too much work too. I kind of just wish this had ice in it. I know that's like... You run upstairs and throw an ice cube in this glass and then pour that on top of it. And we'll get back. I'm gonna go and start with that one. Oh, I know. I'm taking this No, no, me. leave those. I, I promise I won't look. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. <laughs> now that she's gone, what did she do while I was gone, guys? Seriously. Show, show thought... everybody the massive ice cube <laughs> she got. I thought this way you couldn't make me take any out or say I had too many. Yeah, just pour it over it. On this, I'm getting a little bit of caramel, some rice spice, a little bit of baking spices. It's it's really well balanced. It's not particularly sweet on the nose. There's a lot of other things. There's a berryness too. There's kind of a red berry going on. Seems to have a little bit of proof on the nose as well. On the palate, there's a lot of baking spices, hints of vanilla, a little bit of honey. Almost has a, a kind of a, a banana and peanut as well. I don't think I've ever heard you say that. A banana and peanut. Yeah, you know, like if uh, if you have like a banana split and they like sprinkle peanuts on top of it, it's like that. There's like the cream and the banana and the peanut. <laughs> I hate when you look at the bottom and laugh. <laughs> That's the worst. On this one, I'm getting a lot of like raspberries and red berries. It's, it's sweet, but there's it's not like caramel or vanilla to me. There's a lot of spice and a lot of proof on this one. There's almost a, like a, a floral quality to it too. There's a, a bit of a fruit. There's a lot of herbalness and spice. The sweetness is again, very mild. The flavor is good, but it just has sweetness and spice and everything. It's kind of got a little bit of everything going on. This is like cinnamon sugar on graham crackers. There's a little bit of vanilla on this. This almost has like a, a floral, almost rose quality to it, but there's a lot of like barrel and oak as well. It's not particularly sweet, but it's, it, again, it's a very, seems like a very, very well balanced bourbon. <laughs> barrel char, barrel kind of wood. So I probably a bit of a woodiness like it, right? to it. No, but this is, this is a really good bourbon. It's like a man bourbon. This is an exceptional bourbon. There's a hint of nuttiness. There's spice. The finish is still going. This has a really good mouthfeel, a good finish. Yeah, there's a lot of, of spice in this one. I actually think I know what this is. What? Guess. No, I will. Do Save you it. With it. Come on. No, you gotta, I, got, I can't give it yet. Let me, let me finish it. I think I know which group this is, though. <laughs> and then I, I think I know which one that one is, actually. So on this one, I'm getting lots of vanilla. It's not particularly sweet. There's clove, black pepper, a little bit of herbalness. Again, it's, 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 you know, in one of the groups, it was seemed like everything I got was just caramel and vanilla and sweet. Mm -hmm. And this is not that at all. This is, this competition is, is much, there's a lot less sweetness, a lot more balance and kind of fullness of smells and flavors so far. Hmm. I know what this is. <laughs> Take a guess. I'll tell you a minute. Let me, I'm just excited let me go through. I'm just excited I'm like, all right. There is a berryness, a lot of spice, a pretty good mouth feel. It's pretty solid. Kind of a berry forwardness to it. Ooh, this one's actually sweet on the nose. This is the first one that's like just straight sweet. Oh, that smells good. After caramel and vanilla on the nose, there is a little bit of an herbalness. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that one was like fire. How did it end up on your top five or top 25 then? So it just went down the wrong pipe kind of thing. It's better now. This one though, there's like tons and tons and tons of cinnamon, mm. like tons of big red gum cinnamon flavor. Ugh. With I don't like big red gum. It, it, again, this one tastes like there's a little bit of age on it. it has a really good mouthfeel, intense flavor, good proof. So you want me to guess? Yep. So I think this is the unicorns. I think that don't 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 say it. Don't give me I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I think this is the Russell's thirteen, and I think this is the Stag Junior. Michter's 10, Russell's 13, and Stag Jr. I don't know about those two. I can't remember what else is in the group. Would you bet your life on it? Mm -mm. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Number five. Number four. Number three. Number two. And number one. The last competition in part two, it seemed like they all were very sweet and the noses were very sweet. The palace were very sweet. Yeah. Good bourbons, but just sweet, right? Mm -hmm. The 1910 and, and a bunch of others that just came across very sweet. Tonight, it didn't have that. These were a lot more dense with complex palates and like it tasted like some of them had more age on them. If you see this, then I was right. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to cut it. So I think, I think these are the unicorns. I think this is Michter's 10, Russell, Stag, something else and something else. Yes. God, I'm so ready. nervous. I'm so I'm nervous. So ready. Yes, it's the unicorns. I knew it. Okay, 
Okay, so, okay, oh, wait, 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 now I've got them all in front of me. So, I, I honestly think this is the Michter's 10. This might be the old Fitzgerald 8. This might be the old Carter, Russells, and Stag. Oh, wow. Something's messed up. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Michter's? Aww. Is Michter's is trying to redeem itself. <laughs> Michter's, is, Michter's is trying to make a good showing for once. <laughs> I'm really excited. This, this was fun. I'm really happy to have these tonight. Okay, number five. Is number five. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. <laughs> Whoa. Stack. Yes. Number four. Hold on. Let me see if I can guess. Hold on. Uh, this is my favorite category. I love this one. Thank you for picking this group. I needed this. I'm gonna guess this one's the old Carter. Number three. Number three. Ah. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> I love this. Okay, I think this is the Russell's thirteen. Number four. Number four, I think this is the old Fitzgerald. Number two, <laughs> number two, yeah. <laughs> one and one. Congratulations. Thank you. You did so good, I'm so proud of you. Victor's got number one. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> God, so good. Finally. It just sat with me well tonight. I think when you start narrowing down your favorite bourbons, I think, um, you start to... You do start to pick some of them out, yeah. Yeah, these, these two kind of clued me in, although I thought this was stag at first. No, but the stag has this kind of berryness, and then it's got a lot of proof, and it has a, kind of this unique flavor profile, but it finishes really, really quick to me. It doesn't have a long finish, this batch 15. The old Carter just really was just nothing but spicy tonight, and it just didn't sit that well with me, but it does have a really good mouthfeel, and you can just, like, taste the quality. The Russell's was really, really good. And it's really hard to describe until you get into wild turkey and start tasting all the different wild turkeys. And they all have it. They all have this kind of wild turkey taste. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. It's like this good blend of spice and sweetness. And then the old Fitzgerald 8-year, it is is quite good. It's very smooth, easy sipping. And you good. totally redeemed yourself now. <laughs> I don't know about that. Good I'd, job. No, I'm, I'm, I'm only proud one. of you. I'm so proud of you when you started talking about it. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm only one for three, I think, right? <laughs> so it doesn't really count. But tonight it actually is tasting really, really good. The good thing is with the unicorns, only one of them is eliminated from the competition. Two of them advance automatically to the finals. Mm -hmm. So the Michters and the Old Fitzgerald 8-year are going to advance straight to the finals. I'm excited for the finals. I know. <laughs> like everybody wants to know. Like... <laughs> I know. I'm so excited for the finals too because now I can have a definitive answer. We're getting there. And then the Russells and the old Carter are going to advance to the semifinals. So they have a chance to actually make it back to the finals, but they have to get through the semifinals. So the only one that we're actually going to truly say goodbye to tonight that's actually eliminated from the competition is the Stag Jr. Well, we are continuing the quest to find my favorite bourbon. And we're yeah. progressing. We're almost halfway. And until next time, find a bottle you love. Get out of my speaking You don't know how to write You don't know how to remember Like that. Yeah, just... yeah. Gold star. I get a gold star, yay. <laughs> Janky. Janky. <laughs> Amy. Janky. Janky. <laughs> David called me Amy in the car yesterday. <laughs> he meant to say Jamie, but said... I just left the J. It'd be like her calling me Avid. Amy, if you're out there, call me. <laughs>